Welcome back to the channel. Watch the video until the end, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. What would happen if two ambassadors of humanity, made of steel and circuits, one day encountered an alien civilization in deep space? NASA informs us that the Voyager probe might have already had such an encounter, suggesting the possibility that we have already come into contact with an alien force accustomed to the vastness of space between the stars. It's almost unbelievable to think of the wonders the Voyager probes could still reveal to us more than 40 years after their launch. These successful probes will continue to travel through space for many thousands of years. Imagine a probe the size of a car flying over an alien spaceship. The occupants of the spaceship would likely be surprised, capture the strange object, and examine it inside their vehicle. They would find a small golden disc with illustrated instructions showing how to play sounds from a world alien to them, such as the rustling of the sea, the singing of birds, human laughter, and the noise of cars. Furthermore, they would discover the DNA of the humans who built the probe, amazed at the similarities with their species. In the onboard computers, the extraterrestrial scientists would find recordings about the origin of the probe, the path it took and everything it observed along the journey. It would become clear that the object comes from a planet called Earth, and that it was the first scientific measurement device to explore the far reaches of the solar system. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 marked a significant milestone in human space exploration by leaving the heliopause and entering interstellar space, becoming the second human-made object to achieve this feat. The transition surprised researchers on Earth especially due to the clear boundary between the heliopause and the interstellar medium, an unexpected phenomenon. Before the Voyager probes, there were only theoretical models about what this boundary would be like. The heliopause is a vast protective bubble generated by the continuous flow of solar particles, extending from the sun to a point where it ends abruptly, much more like a solid pier than a beach that gradually fades away. Voyager 2 also discovered an interesting feature of this boundary, a kind of magnetism that seems to reduce the penetration of energetic charged particles from interstellar space. At this threshold, where the dense and hot solar wind meets the cold and rarefied interstellar medium, a solid boundary is formed suggesting that our solar system is enclosed in a sort of solid sphere. This discovery fascinates both researchers and observers alike. Voyager 1 crossed this magical boundary of the heliopause in 2012 at almost the same distance from the sun, indicating a uniform shape of the heliopause. The first measurements beyond this boundary were eagerly awaited, as the interstellar medium fills the area between stellar systems and, until this moment, remained a great mystery to us. The temperature of this space, between 30,000 and 50,000 Kelvin, was significantly higher than the 15,000-30,000 Kelvin expected. The interstellar medium is likely composed of radiation, magnetic fields and particles from the Big Bang and early stellar explosions, traveling through space for billions of years. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have provided data that show many similarities, but also some significant differences, raising new questions about this marginal region. In particular, the interstellar magnetic field turned out to be two to three times stronger than expected indicating that interstellar particles exert up to 10 times greater pressure on our heliopause than previously thought. This raises questions about the dynamics of our solar system as it moves through the interstellar medium at a speed of about 82,800 kmh, or about 23 kmes. A curious situation arose when Voyager 1 began to send confusing data, an event that evoked the famous radio message from the Apollo 13 mission, Houston, we have a problem. Only this time the control center was not in Houston but in Pasadena, California. The situation, although less critical than that of Apollo 13, caused great concern. It was discovered that Voyager 1 had lost its orientation shortly after entering the interstellar medium, with no immediate explanation for the anomalous telemetry data. After weeks of investigation, NASA technicians discovered that the attitude control system had received confusing data from one of the onboard computers. Correcting the error allowed Voyager to find its position in space again and continue the mission. It's almost miraculous that these two probes are still functioning after being exposed to the extreme conditions of space for over 45 years. Radiation, extreme temperatures, and the long operational period have inevitably caused signs of wear. 
However, the probes are functioning well beyond their original mission, and now that they are in the interstellar medium, NASA intends to keep them operational as long as possible. The Voyager probes are equipped with a series of scientific instruments that have allowed them to complete their missions within the solar system and now beyond. Among these, the magnetometer, used to measure the strength and direction of magnetic fields, has been crucial for detecting the abrupt changes in magnetic alignment during entry into interstellar space. Other instruments, like the ultraviolet spectrometer, will allow us to study the composition and physical properties of the interstellar medium for a long time to come. The probes will likely remain fully operational until 2025, after which the energy reserves of the nuclear batteries will be depleted, and Voyager 1 and 2 will gradually cease to send measurement data. However, they will continue to travel through space, silent witnesses to our ability to explore the unknown. The interstellar medium, whether inhabited by life forms or not, remains one of the universe's great mysteries. Despite theories suggested by Voyager data, the interstellar medium remains a vast and unexplored frontier, rich in potential discoveries. The missions of the Voyager probes continue to inspire us, reminding us of how much there is still to learn about the space surrounding us. Leave your impressions in the comments and remember to subscribe to the channel.